Detroit homeowners' property taxes will be raised as a result of the land value tax plan. Let me say that again. And no, Detroit homeowners' property taxes will be raised as a result of the land value tax plan. That's how some Detroit politicians are spinning a new proposed property tax plan in the city. You'll be taxed 14 mils less for your house. You'll be taxed double for the land. But if you look at your bills, you, you, all of the value is in the house. Land in this city is assessed at next to nothing. It's called the land value tax plan, and right now it's just an idea. The claim is 97% of homeowners will get an average 17% permanent property tax cut starting in 2025. If Detroit voters sign off on the idea, and even now, there are concerns about an already overtaxed, no pun intended, assessor's office. It's like we're putting a Band-Aid on a wounded knee before we put a cast on the broken arm. So the, the great thing about democracy is people can disagree. Yes. Uh, and the uh, assessor, the state tax commission, and the courts disagree with you. That was an exchange between Dr. Bernadette Atuahene and Mayor Duggan. Atuahene has studied property tax foreclosures in Detroit for nearly a decade and says the new plan is premature considering Detroit's history of overinflating property taxes, particularly saying the assessor's office is the first place to look. What we need to do is to fix the property tax over assessments first to get the capacity in the assessment division where it needs to be and then that assessment division will be able to properly implement the vet land value tax plan. State Rep Stephanie Young is working on legislation in Lansing. If it's passed there and signed by the governor, then Detroit leaders can decide to put this new tax plan before the voters for their say. But this group of voters, again, trying to hammer out existing issues first. To assuage this particularly strong contingent of residents, if it wouldn't be smart to maybe move in that direction. Yeah. Again, it's like both and. I'm not saying one or the other. This legislation that we're proposing in Lansing is enabling.